although architecture is built of stones and steel and brick and mortar, it is in a way the most fragile of all the kinds of art. Architecture, although it is solid as a rock, it is also vulnerable to the whims of fashion and change and the owner's wishes. One of the buildings is the Florida Life Building, and the other building is the Bisbee Building. Oh, these buildings are magnificent. Uh, these are really, you know, Florida's first skyscrapers. They're probably downtown Jacksonville's most endangered buildings. You know, it's easy to tear something down and let's build a cookie cutter building that looks like every inexpensive building in every other city. Look at how many are gone. I mean, how much of downtown has been bulldozed and turned into parking lots? It's, it's unbelievable how much of, what a vibrant city this was. There was like a, a concerted effort to diminish downtown. Why weren't more people up in arms? I don't know. They were pretty eager to, to just run to the suburbs and, and abandon the city. I don't know why. I think where it, what it all stems from is, is how educated the general public is. Um, unfortunately, I don't think they're very well educated. Maybe all of us in the history community and in the preservation community somehow just don't do enough to get the message out. that These are our precious resources, historical resources. It was originally supposed to be a small, a thin, uh, narrow skyscraper that soared 11 stories tall. Can you imagine 11 stories? I get a nosebleed thinking about a building so high. In fact, the city fathers challenged whether this building could be permitted. The first was, you know, the Bisbee building going up. He was building it only at 26 feet wide, and it was so popular before it uh, was completed, he doubled the width. He also built another similar skyscraper around the corner called the Florida Life Building, built for the Florida Life Insurance Company, which was another tall, thin, soaring skyscraper. And this beautiful building uh, was truly one of the great skyscrapers in, the, in America at the time it was built. Unfortunately, a lot of his great buildings have been demolished, but the ones that remain are all the more precious. That's part of this city's heritage. And we've almost squandered it. Many of them are just empty parking lots today. Florida Life Building is probably Clutho's best work, in my opinion. It's an amazing little skyscraper that adheres to the, I guess it's the Louis Sullivan idea of what a skyscraper should be, about being all vertical. It has to have a base and it's got to have a top, and he's got that nice terracotta cornice, and the rest of it needs to just express verticality. And that building totally succeeds. I mean, it's such a little jewel. It's amazing how just a little education can touch the minds and hearts of the people who live here, because most people who live here really enjoy embracing our history. they should be preserved. I mean, there are some truly elegant buildings that he's designed. It's part of our architectural heritage. We have plenty of, of uh, places where new, new construction can happen without having to tear down wonderfully designed older buildings.